Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Time. So today we're going to be talking about wireless printing. It's a new service that we're offering here at the library and uh, we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to make use of it. Whether you're sitting at home or here in the building, you'll have complete access to printing anytime. So check it out on today's Tech Time. All right, for today's tech time, we are going to be looking at how to do wireless printing here at the library. So we do have the ability now to allow you to send your prints to us from just about anywhere, and then we can release them here at the library. So the way we're going to do this, um, there are some links and things that are involved. So I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest way to get to these. Now, when we get there, if you would like to write down the information on how to do this, uh, please feel free to do that. We also, here at the library, have handouts that we can give you, which will show you exactly um, what you need to do step by step. Uh, the really small handouts, so feel free to ask for one of those if you need that next time you're here at the library. All right, to get started, what we're going to do is make sure the thing that you need to print is saved on your device. So if you're printing from a computer, make sure that your document, whatever it might be, whether it's a picture, um, a letter, something that you typed out, something that you um, worked on, whatever it is, it needs to be saved as a file on your computer. If you're doing this from a phone or a tablet, again, make sure that whatever it is is saved on that device. So step number one is key. Make sure your file that you want to print is saved on your device. Now, just being on your screen does not classify as saved. It, it will not allow us to print if it's just on your screen. It needs to be physically saved. So if you're trying to do like a text messages or something like that or something on your screen, you'll need to screenshot it first, save that into your files, and then we'll be able to send that to get printed. Okay, step number one after saving is going to be to go to our library's homepage, which is ofpl.online. And then at ofpl.online on our library homepage, if you scroll down just a little bit, one of the first things you see is need prints, try our new mobile printing services, click here. So when you click there, it will take you to our special site that tells you everything you need to know about printing wirelessly. The service that we're using for this is called Printer On, and we have the three methods that you can use, which is printing from your desktop, printing through email, and printing from mobile listed here. It will take you down to those three sections depending on which you click on. We're gonna start by talking about the desktop. So if you're on a desktop computer or a laptop computer, now, one of the questions I'm sure you're asking is, do I have to be at the library? And the answer is no. You can be at home in your living room and send this print job to us to print. You, you will have to come to the library to pick it up, but you can send it from home. So if you're working on a desktop computer or a laptop computer, all you would need to do is click on this link, printeron.net slash OFPL slash main dash library. Clicking on that will send you to the desktop printing area. You can also just type that into your browser if you prefer. So again, it's printeron, all one word, dot net slash OFPL slash main dash library. Clicking on that will take you to our special printing site. And here's what it looks like. You'll see our library logo. You'll see it says mobile printing service and it'll have a lot of additional information. So from here, you get to decide if you want to do black and white or color. You choose the appropriate button. I'm gonna do a black and white print. 
Then, um, if you want to click the details, all it's going to show you is uh, all of the information for printing. Nothing that's not already here. Next thing you have to do is enter an email address, and it does need to be a valid email address. Uh, you can't just type anything in there. It will uh, send you a confirmation to the email, so it will need to be a valid email address. Uh, I'm going to put in my work email. Then you're going to choose the file. Now this is why I said you need to have that file saved on your device before you get to this point. And that's because it's going to ask you to go into your computer, find the document, and then print it. So I have a nice script here that I want to print. So I've added the file. And again, when I say file, it can be a Word document, a PDF, a picture, something that is saved on your computer that is printable. Okay. Once you have chosen what type of printing you want, black and white or color, added your email address, and uploaded your file, you will click the green button. Once your request has been processed, it will show you on the screen that it has been processed. And then uh, all you need to do is come to the library, and then we'll be able to release that print for you. Now currently, uh, all you do is come and ask us for your print, give us your email address that you entered, and then we can uh, release that for you. Eventually, you'll be able to release your own printers using our, your own prints using our uh, self-serve stations, but that'll be uh, down the line. For now, just know you can come to the library and pick up your print. So that's how you use the desktop version. Now, there's also the email version. Email version works pretty simple. Uh, again, make sure the document you wish to send is already saved on your device. And you can do this from a mobile device. You can do this from your laptop, your desktop, anything that's connected to the Internet. You'll make sure you're in your email. And then you're going to send to one of these two, depending on if you want black and white or color. BW stands for black and white. And of course, color stands for color. You're going to put this as who you're sending the print to. So if I were to do this from my email, I would open up my email, start a new message. And then if I want black and white, I will copy the black and white. And I will put that in my two. You don't have to put any subject in there if you don't want to. And then the next thing you'll do is um, attach the file that you want to have printed. Once you've attached the file and you put in the proper email address, all you do is hit send, and then we will see it available for us to print in our printer release, just like the other document. So again, uh, two very easy ways to go ahead and send us your wireless printing. Either click the desktop version, which will open up in your browser and allow you to upload your print and send it, or just send it directly to us using one of the two email addresses provided here. And then there's a third option. If you're printing from a smartphone or some sort of tablet, what you'll need to do is get the app, and we'll talk about that next. Okay, for doing mobile printing, we're going to have to get the mobile app. So you can go to whatever app store you prefer. If you're using Android, go to the Google Play Store. If you're using an Apple like this iPad, you'll want to go to the Apple App Store. And, uh, whoops, that looks like the App Store app right there. You're going to want to search for Printer On. And the Printer On app will have this logo. So it looks like a bird flying with papers in different colors. 
when you find it and download it, then you'll be able to access the actual printing services. At the top, it gives you the option of what you want to print. Uh, typically, it's going to be either documents or photos from your mobile device. Um, choose whichever one's more appropriate for you. At the bottom, you'll have the option to choose uh, where you want your print to go. Right now, this is set for the main library, but by touching it, and uh, the first time you do this, you'll have to select what printer you want. You're going to go to search. In the search area, you can just type in O F P L, wherever the L is, there we go, and then uh, hit the search button. And it'll bring up four options. Two of them are for the children's branch, and two of them are for the main library. So you want to decide if you want this in black and white or color for each location. Since I'm going to print uh, here at the main library, I'm just going to choose OFPL black and white. So my printer is selected. I'm ready to go. All I need to do is find my document. So there's the document I want. And like I said earlier, make sure that you have the file saved on the de device before you go to print. So since mine was saved, I found it, I selected my printer, now I just hit the print button. It's going to make you add in your email yet again, just like we did on the desktop version. So I'm going to put that in really quick. Okay, so I've selected, I mean I put in my email address. Everything's ready to go. I'm just going to hit the check mark. And now that printer job has been sent. And uh, it'll usually give you a little message at the top letting you know that it's been uh, sent and received. But uh, that's all there is to it. There, it turned green, letting us know that that has been received. And now you can just simply come to the library and we'll release the print job for you. So that's how uh, we do wireless printing here at the library. Again, uh, whether you're on a desktop, a laptop, a tablet, or your phone, you have uh, three options to do your print job. So you can use the desktop link version from our website. You can enter the email address that I showed you previously, or you can go and download the app and uh, use the app to help you send your prints. So happy printing, everyone.